Hey everybody, this is the Beardy from the Beardy and the Baldy channel. Um, I had uh, one of my viewers slash customers slash friends from the comic shop request that uh, I do a quick tour of the um, the Geek Den, the Geek Palace, my home, my apartment, my abode. Uh, this is Geektopia, uh, or at least my portion of Geektopia. That's what uh, myself and the other tenants of this building, who are also all uh, really uh, geeky folk, decided to call the place we live. So this is Geektopia. And uh, welcome to my lair. Uh, real quick, let's see, I'm trying not to do this without getting myself in it too, too much, but I've got some of my uh, pop mugs up here, uh, BB-8 and Java. And let's see, we'll go into the kitchen here, so I'm gonna turn around. So if you get motion sickness, I apologize. Not much I can do about that. Uh, I got some really cool collectibles over here uh, from my childhood. We got some Garfield mugs. From, uh, I believe they're from McDonald's or maybe Hardee's or something. Um, also from, I think Hardee's or Burger King is the uh, California Raisins here. Old school Captain uh, Captain Crunch figure. The original Bee, or, um, Bumblebee. And some uh, Charlie Brown Pops. You know, the first of many Pops. And you know some Joker over here graduating from high school. Almost uh, 20 years ago, I guess. <laughs> um down the line over here. Got a couple more cool little knickknacks here in the corner and we'll keep going around here. And this is the old family dart board. Uh, the darts, the original darts are long gone, but that was in our garage and all sorts of places at the time, uh, as long as I can remember that thing's been around. And uh, yeah, that is a Transformers poster. I, yes, I enjoy the Transformers movies. They're not great, but the effects are cool and the robots look awesome. But um, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, I do have a Transformers poster up there. Um, it's because my Star Wars poster is too cool. I have that out in the hallway as you come into my, my place. So up above, we got this really cool Frank Cho Ultimates, new Ultimates poster uh, with Thor and the other heroes battling awesome creatures and stuff. And uh, my Lego pirate sets. Um, and that is the original Lego pirate ship back from like 90, 91, whenever that came out. So yeah. And speaking of Legos, we've got the entire line starting down here uh, from Weathertop all the way through the you know, Lord of the Rings trilogy, Helm's Deep, which is a really impressive set. I had a lot of fun building that. Down to the Shelob and the Black Gate here. We got this cool little end thing. We got uh, Bag End, and some more little cool little collectibles from my childhood. E.T. Candy Dispenser from when the movie originally released. A little bear pencil topper. Hey, you can see it. I don't need to explain everything, do I? My brother's uh, Rubik's Cube that I think I remember at one point peeling the stickers off trying to get it to work because that's the kind of kid I was. <laughs> um, here is uh, my book bookshelf. Some of my favorite books are up here. Uh, along with some great pops, some more books, collected uh, Sherlock Holmes, Edgar Allan Poe, a whole bunch of really cool books, I think. Some of my favorite writers. Uh, there's my Marvel pops and my Marvel graphic novel selection. And way down here we got Star Wars and Harry Potter. And if I can turn the camera, whoop, sorry. There's my original comic, Sock Drawer. I did it a couple years ago. Moving on, more books, more pops. Uh, my all-time favorite books, the uh, Chronicles of Prydain series. Uh, I hope they keep doing these uh, hardcover editions of the single books because they're really cool. Um, Book of Three, The Black Cauldron, are uh, the first two of the five books in the Chronicles of Prydain series, so or Prydain Chronicles. So check those out if you want. Um, Stuff of Legend is a great comic book series. And of course, I've got my entire Middle Earth collection here. And then there's a whole bookshelf of graphic novels and whatnot. Um, kind of hard to get it all in there. Got all the uh, Aquaman, Batman, and Wonder Woman New 52 collections going on there. A whole bunch of other stuff. Bloom County and Opus. Uh, those comics are kind of uh, a thing that really got me into this whole world of geek, geek stuff. Uh, Invincible and American... Vampire. There is the cover that my coworkers and I did for Betty and Veronica. Conan and some other uh, 
sword and sorcery style books. Let's go over here. Here's the chair. This is the little nook where I do my videos every week. DVD shelf, a bunch of cool goodies over here. Let's see if we can get the camera in. So I have no idea what you're seeing right now. There we go. And here's my mega shelf. Um, going across here. This is uh, my TV stand and everything here. Uh, obviously and spin it around because I'm better pointing with my right hand here so yeah all the pops all the Marvel heroes uh, from the movies my blu-rays and DVDs uh, a bunch of really great graphic novels down here um, you can check those out over by the uh, Dark Crystal Pops some really good books but, uh, I'm lingering I uh, got my uh, Halloween decorations out. Yep, five pops. That's it. Decorated for Halloween. And my favorite pops of all, these three right here on the end from my girlfriend. They are my favorites. And I got my whole X-Men omnibus oversized hardcover set there. Monsters and aliens and whatnot. And for those of you watching my top 13 countdown, you're going to get a little sneak preview here if you can read any of the spines. So I got my top 13 and then my ultimates over that way. So yeah, that's that. And now we'll spin around, see, give you an overview of my living room and kitchen. Let's see, and into here we've got, this is the bedroom slash office slash comic cave. So over here is my wall of comics. Those are all short boxes, um, pretty full. I'm gonna have to sell some stuff off here in the not too distant future, I guess. Um, bunch of pops. I got these stacks of comics. I rotate every week, um, just every every Sunday or Monday. I just flip it out for the next comic in the list to uh, just get a variety of imagery and stuff. Got all my Star Wars pops over here, and my DC Comics ones, and my really overstocked game shelf down here yeah so there's that and over here is my art table I do all my sketching and drawing and planning and stuff got this uh, rogue print from Frank Cho at Baltimore Comic Con and then the uh, DC bombshells vinyl figures up here here's my uh, computer studio this is where I do all my massive editing for these videos which basically just involves me um, <laughs> uh, throwing some uh, what do you call it graphics together I don't really do anything for these videos but I used to edit on this thing all the time and um, but yeah, any video editing or uh, digital top shots or if I didn't need to do anything for my artwork I do here um, some more pops and cool things here um, this is my Kind of cool collection. I got uh, Captain Marvel and Rogue, two of my favorite comic heroes of all time. I've got a, a spot here for Wonder Woman once I pick her up. And then all of these are uh, Joelle Jones covers with a Darwin Cook Wonder Woman print from last year at Baltimore Comic Con. And a moose, because why not, right? Some great X-Men posters up here. Storage, windows, more pops, and flags. And more Legos. We got the, uh, let's see, back over here. Got the whole climax of the Hobbit trilogy up there. Some more knickknacks from family and whatnot. Um, and other stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's the Geek Cave. That is my lair. That is Geektopia. So, um, oh, and probably one of my favoritest things. The Tower of Orthanc Lego set. That thing took forever to put together. And it's like... Almost three feet tall. So anyway, <laughs> that's it. Welcome to the Beardy's Den, Geektopia, and uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. See you guys next time. Peace.